Hi, um, I guess we dropped a little bombshell yesterday on Twitter, which spiraled yes. into realms we weren't even aware of. We are at FatCon, which always has this beautiful art show with many expos, paintings, models, and so on. And something I personally haven't seen here before, if you've seen Star Trek Picard Season 2, you may be aware that the showrunners went kind of a little bit backward, brought some other rooms back on board, and basically reintroduced the beautiful Elkar panel design, and refreshed them a little bit. And when we went here, we thought, OK, this is kind of a fan project. Uh, this is actually Tim Davis, who's been developing this in collaboration with the showrunners. And uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about this beautiful piece of art you did here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I, I've, I've been doing these for many years. Um, I, I worked on Starship Online for a while, and I've been doing lots of replica panels for a very long time. But yeah, it was, it was really nice. I had a day class who was a fantastically nice guy. Hello, Davis. <laughs> Uh, who reached out to me and asked me to, to work on this. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. I mean, I've, I've been working with Jeff Mandel, who deserves a very good mention because he's an absolute star. Doug Drexler as well, Andrew Jones, who will be animations. Uh, there's a lot of other people, Mike and Denise, but the whole team uh, that has been working on the part is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, they've blasted managed to get so many people involved as well from the community, uh, the stars like Mr. Maroney. Uh, Sean, who designed the Titan, so it, it's been really fun working on this. And yeah, we managed to like, build a new ship for a very long time. We haven't had like really that many new ships, and then getting to go back to like the original cars and then really like fleshing it out. It, it, yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, all the details are in there. We have the little rubber duck here. So we've, uh, it's very deep paint. There's the, yeah, I've got a little bit crazy in the details. I put an F-104 Starfighter in there as well. Uh, I know John Eves is a big fan of that plane. That was for him. Yeah, uh, it's it's gone a little bit next level. I might have gone a little bit crazy in the details on this one, but I know that the fans really love this kind of detail, right? Yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic project and a very very quick turnaround time. Uh, and spectacular, right? I mean, we're not talking about a seven season series or something where you put all this sophisticated building because you know you're going to use it yeah. for a long time. It's just been introduced with season two of that ship, and they've yeah. been able to pull so many people together and get it so much visual depth and detail. You can really see that people are truly passionate about it, and I saw the impact in the community. People just love it. Oh, you can see it. It's, it's, uh, I think what's interesting with this uh, kind of uh, work as well that a lot of people don't realize is, um, you know, when these are designed, you don't know necessarily what the sets and everything look like yet. So it's, uh, it brings a whole ele a different element to it. So when you do a fan recreation like the Defiance or Voyager or uh, the Enterprise, you've seen all the sets, you know what things are meant to look like. Yeah, this is kind of work when you design it from scratch. And especially now the fans are, I mean, the whole weekend people have really been looking closely at this. It's, uh, yeah, it's another level. I, I think on the TV shows, when the graphics are made for very, very small TVs, the, the, the attention to detail was always there, but yeah. now it's like, it's the next level. Uh, people taking screenshots and zooming in, so... Whereas before you would literally put a little number in there, now it's like you have to literally put exactly what is there, because yeah. people will zoom in and it's like, if you just put little numbers, uh, yeah, it just doesn't quite work. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been fantastic. And it's, it's uh, what they've done to bring in the next evolution of the cars. Uh, just like the way that things slide out a little bit more on the information, it's... Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's, uh, yeah, the, the guys are part of them. <laughs> Absolutely massive job. Yeah. And it's so nice to work with them to make a uh, out with the uh, practice. Uh, being a long term fan myself, like I've grown up with TNG, like so many of us pioneered that one. Uh, it's been a true pleasure seeing this visual aesthetic brought back to life. Uh, it also inspired me as an artist. Yeah. And by the way, we didn't know that before, but we're kind of working in the same industry. Yeah. So he's working on location-based VR games. I'm essentially building a holocaust phase with VR places that are kind of like the precursor of the holiday. So um, it's a bit spacious, so uh, you didn't want to bring it back uh, to where you live. So um, actually, I have the big honor to take it back with me, and uh, I think it, ha it has so many beautiful details and Easter eggs, so I'm thinking I should maybe put this on display at our flagship store of Polo Cafe de Stilgos, and maybe if you come visit us there, maybe yeah. you can go on a little Easter egg hunt. Right. <laughs>
I think, I think the, the really cool thing is looking at Beckon and how the event has been. It's uh, this table has just been busy the whole time. It's been really nice to see uh, how interested everyone is in, in, in this kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I, I love doing this. It's a hobby, uh, and I'm one of the lucky people in the world that gets to kind of work with the hobby. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's been great. And I'm, I'm, yeah, seeing my Twitter light up and just seeing the uh, messages go up. <laughs> it was quite funny. I didn't know what happened. I was in the middle of a panel. My phone just like it was. Yeah. So yeah, but no, this. Is, I mean, this is a. It's been. It's been great to work on, and it's yeah. It's a collaboration with, with so many other talented artists. Uh, yeah, there's, there's so many more people that are just next level. It's, it's, it's just a pleasure to be able to, to collaborate with some of these uh, people. That, you know, yeah. so, uh, maybe if, if I draw can draw a conclusion from many years of like being also kind of. In the fan community, modding things, doing artworks, there were times where many of these projects have just been shut down for uh, like policy reasons, distribution reasons, and actually having showrunners and uh, like visual directors of the series actively scouting for talented uh, resources in the fan community and collaborating with them to create something beautiful. I think that that's just lovely, and I personally would love to see more of that. I mean, I think that's always happened to some extent. When you know, when someone needs a graphic designer, it's like yeah, you know, you put a job application out there. But I think what's really really nice for uh, Faves and there's, there's a lot of people in the industry, uh, in the graphic industry, that do this professionally that are very big Star Trek fans, and yeah, it just makes sense to tap into that, right? So I'm I'm really grateful of uh, the guys for doing that. It's, uh, I, I know that the, there's a lot of uh, dreams being made true with this kind of stuff uh, to be reached out to work on this. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's been it's been really fun. <laughs> it's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm so happy people enjoy it. So. <laughs> well deserved, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Davies, and I think we're going to do a follow up video where we show this in more detail for you to see this beauty more close up. It's still a work in progress, it's not quite yeah. finished. <laughs>